why don't I use Linux on the desktop? Um, I got this question yet again today, and so I'm going to make a video on it. I've made tons of videos about it before. I get asked this question all the time. So I'm going to answer it one more time, and we're going to make a video, and I'm going to put the video in uh, the Linux section, uh, the Linux stage of the Beginner Boost, so you can understand why. This, this answer has very direct relevance to everyone watching who wants a job in technology, okay? The answer is Linux on the desktop is not the best tool for the job. And um, I probably need to make another video about what it even means to say the best tool for the job, right? But it goes without saying, right? And I am a live streamer who has my bike right here. This is my indoor bike right here. And that is the short answer. The short answer as to why I don't use Linux on the desktop is because it sucks. <laughs> totally horrible it's a disaster and that will be the tagline linux on the desktop sucks it really does it has and this is from a guy who's used linux on the desktop for 25 years i have been i use linux on the desktop my entire career at ibm i use linux on the desktop my entire career as a teleport for building an internet service provider I know what I'm talking about. I have used every Linux desktop that exists. And so when I say that it sucks, I'm telling you it sucks. You cannot use Linux for SolidWorks. You cannot use Linux for anything with 3ds Max. You cannot use Linux for major enterprise applications that are demanded and required. You can't, you just can't use it. I spent, and there are videos of this, I spent more than a day, total in hours, and I did it all live because I was like, I'm going to try Vulcan, I'm going to try Bottles, I'm going to try this and this and this, and I could not get my absolute favorite, most important game to work, Zwift. Zwift is the game that I live by, and you know, people say this is a skill issue, I say, please refer to the 24 or to the 12 hours of video I made trying to get Zwift to work on Linux. And Mr. 10x troll programmer who loves to talk shit like this all the time is a good example of the type of shit I've had to deal with because I'm using the right tool for the job. I know Linux because I, the fact that I can't get Linux to work on the desktop has nothing to do with me. And by the way, this is the same problem that Linus Does Tech had when that huge drama happened last year. He tried to just do something extremely simple, and all the Linux community came unglued saying, oh, you're doing it wrong, you're doing this wrong, and this wrong. He's like, I don't know, I just want to install my game and have it work. You know how long it takes me to install and get Zwift to work? You know how long it takes me to install and get Linux to work for my Zwift game? Less than 10 minutes. I just install it, I download this, the thing, I put it on and I plug, I plug in, I plug in my, my, I plug in my bike, I get on my bike and I start to do it. Yeah, here comes 10X again. 10X is going to have fun with me on this one. I, this, this, this is what happens every time you say something bad about Linux. If you say anything bad about anything about Linux, you get, you get the arch people that come out of the thing and they love to have fun with you. You know what? Most of them don't have jobs doing Linux. I'm saying they don't. And if they have had a job doing Linux, they haven't been doing it for a long time. And if you tell them that you can't run SolidWorks, the most important piece of software, many would argue, for doing any kind of like computer engineering, they're like, oh, they'd pretend it doesn't exist and they look the other way. And like, oh, well, yeah, you, yeah, if you want to do that, but why would you want to do that? So if you're going to fight with me about, and by the way, most of the people who use desktop Linux have no idea how to use Tmux. They've never done it. They don't know why to use it. They're like, why are you doing that? Why don't you just use NeoVim Pains? They don't even understand the implications of these things because they're usually noobs. The people who are pushing for Linux on the desktop are usually noobs. And the ones that hit people over the head, I saw, this is a true story. I saw a seasoned veteran, Het Tanis, who, who has several certifications in Linux, has taught at the university level for several years, and has set up in, in Linux systems and servers for corporations and, and, and NOAA and a bunch of huge organizations. And I sat there and watched people in his Twitch chat say, and one guy, and I quote exactly, one person said, 
Does anyone else think this guy is sus for not running Linux on his desktop? While he was configuring his multi-cluster Linux cluster VM using the tool of his preference on a Windows system while he was streaming, this random noob was giving him crap in the chat because he didn't run Linux on the desktop. And I was like, holy cow. I was like, what the hell is wrong with these people? And if that's you, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that that's you. I don't mean to. So when people say, where's your Linux? And they like pull their arms at me. And they, they don't even know that I streamed from Linux for two and a half years. For two and a half years, I streamed from Linux. Way before the other Twitch streamers were streaming from Linux, by the way. A lot of them are doing that now, and they finally caught up. It's so funny because there's a number of streamers right now that are streaming from Linux on the desktop, and they're using things like Screen Key, and, and, and I actually wrote a custom clips integration. I loved having Linux on the desktop for streaming. But as soon as I couldn't do my games, primarily Zwift, and I couldn't use probably 60% of the plugins that are available for OBS, which is a streaming platform thing, as soon as that became the truth, then Linux on the desktop stopped being the best tool for the job. Now, there again, there are some serious things that I, w I really miss. I miss being able to run clips from the terminal and have it just open. I miss being able to do text-based browsing using links and, and hit the period and have it open up my graphic browser because there's a JavaScript dependency. There are a lot of really solid reasons to do that. But those are trumped for me by the fact that other higher priority tools just don't work in the Linux desktop. And this is not a skills issue. This is, it doesn't work. And if you can prove to me that Zwift works, inside of a Linux desktop, you leave the comments in the section, but I want to see a video of you doing it because so far nobody's done it. And the people who finally do get it to work, guess what they end up having to do? Zwift releases a platform update and what happens? The entire thing shits the bed because it won't work. And I have to go in there and hand customize my thing. You know what else I can just do? Run Windows on the desktop. So, and, and by the way, Rob Pike, one of the most influential, he pretty much invented Unicode, not to mention he's put satellites in the air. He was part of the Unix original thing. He hung out with, he hung out with, with the creators of Unix and C. Dennis Richards was his personal friend. He was the primary contributor and developer of the Go programming language, which is the number one language in enterprise right now, uses a Mac. And if you don't like that because he's using a Mac and if you're going to say he's lesser of a programmer because he's not running a Linux laptop with Linux on the desktop, that problem is on you, not him. Mic drop.